guys, another tip that I wanted to tell you too about cornrows, make sure before you dip them in the hot water, they're braided all the way down to the end because you don't want them to really unravel. Um, it's okay for them to re unravel once, you know, like once you dip them, but you don't want them to be like way up here unravel. Um, so I do leave my unravel uh, um, actually braided to the end and then eventually by the time I'm able to dip the hot water, they unravel that much. But after I dip them, they won't unravel anymore. Make sure that you put some duck bill clips on your um, braids and spray a little bit of um, just any type of sprit spray. Spray it on your braids so they can be able to lay properly. Um, and then once you let them dry for at least a little bit, if you want to, you actually get under the hair dryer. You don't have to though, but if you want to, you can get under the hair dryer and that makes it set better or you can just air dry them. Um, but it's always best to put the duck bill clips wherever um, position that you want the braids because you always want the braids to lay nice and neat. And sometimes when you do them yourself, you know, you can maybe go a certain way that you're not able to, um, you know, really pay attention to which way it's going. So the duck bill clips help it to be able to lay properly. Um, but anyway, if y'all will please take care, be good, and I'll chat with y'all later. Bye. Hello, YouTube family. This is Akaya coming at you. I just wanted to come at you guys today and show you how to retouch up your cornrows. Because sometimes you can have cornrows in and eventually they start looking dry or they start getting really itchy. So I wanted to show you guys how to retouch them up. I am rocking my new little style. I have me uh, some cornrows. I was looking at one of my subscribers, um, their um, channel, and they had some really cute cornrows and I just wanted to put a little in my hair. I am going to have to practice though a lot with the cornrows on my own hair. I'm not really, really savvy at making them perfect yet, um, but I'm working on it. So um, I just keep looking at different people, YouTubes, and show me how to, um, you know, get the cornrows good and whatever. So I'm trying to do the the no knot feed in one so that's what I'm trying to learn because I don't want to have the knots and stuff but um wanted to show you guys what I do moisturize my scalp with okay I moisturize my scalp with um, a product called Grow Works um, it's supposed to be some kind of grow it strengthen it root and scalp serum so I do use that um, and another thing that I use is my black Jamaican castor oil I use the black Jamaican castor oil on my edges um, it makes your hair look really really nice and instead of using gel I just use the black Jamaican um, castor oil because it slicks it back just like um, an actual gel would but it's not wrong with using gels it's just sometimes I don't want to use gels um, and when I don't want to use gels I just use my Jamaican black castor oil because sometimes when I have have my hair in a certain way and I use that eco styler too much it started getting white so um instead of even going through all that I'm just not going to use the gel um, another thing that you can use is I use the Apergy um, oil sheen moisturizing oil sheen you can use braid sheen whichever one you want to use you can just spray it on if you want to but I just wanted to show you guys my regimen what I have done is I have put the Grow Works inside of an empty container. If you guys remember, I had told you I tried the Garnier Fructis Curly Shape Spray Gel. It was nice going on, but this really, really dried my hair out really, really bad. So I give this a bad rating. It smells really good, but it's not good on my hair at all. So um, just wanted to advise you guys and let y'all know. It's called African Essence Weave Spray 6-in-1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and spray this on the weave. Sometimes I put my products in my weave, but I mean, it's up to you. But to me, I think this makes synthetic weave look really good and it smells really good too. So, And that's me showing you guys how to retouch up your braids. I hope everybody stay tuned. Be blessed and I'll chat with you later. Bye.